Alright uh, guys, uh, for this video we're going to be installing a brand new control box which is a static pulse for a gas geyser for the ignition. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be taking this control box and installing inside this unit. So the problem with our unit here, it's not sparking, so it's not uh, igniting at all. So we're gonna replace that and put a new one on. Let's get to it. First of all, you need to take the front cover off. The front cover must come off. There's wires that are holding it against uh, the whole body. So yeah, and uh, there's our control unit right there. Control box is where it lies. So we're gonna put this new one onto there, where this uh, one is. So yeah, the um, the screws have already been taken off, so that it makes it easier for us to go straight where we need to get. So we take that uh, small cable tie off, which is holding the sensor wires, the heat sensor wires, and we take off the two screws that are holding the heat sensor. Some of you might call this a thermometer which senses the temperature of the water coming out of the radiator and I uh, would we'll take that cable tie off so that it uh, unloosens it and take out the earth screw which holds the control box into the, into the body and then we take off the two terminals for the battery, which connect to the batteries, which feed the current through to the control unit. And then we take the solenoid wire off. We've got our three spark pins, which are your impulse for the static for the ignition which create the spark for the ignition of gas into flames so yeah we take the two screws off on there okay i'm gonna have to get my sharp my very sharp screwdriver this one's a bit blunt okay now that i've got my screwdriver uh, with a nice grip on it so we're gonna take out that So it was a bit tight. Yeah, I needed my sharp one so you can just grab on it. Let's make sure you don't damage the screw tops. Let's make sure your screw has got a nice grip on it. And not screw so that it doesn't uh, mess with the grooves where the screw goes in screwdriver goes in so yeah there's our spark pins one for uh, for the static one sensing the flame and another one for the static for the spark yeah so yeah this is our new control box which we're gonna be putting into the unit so yeah we've got our three Three lines, which is one, your spark and your spark, and then you're gonna have the flame sensor wire. So, yeah, we've got to make sure that uh, we align our spark pins to the right position so that. The steady pulse can just go straight to the burners without missing or creating a gas buildup, which might be not good. Yeah, our spark, uh, spark pins have been connected. So the next step, we connect the two screws that hold the control unit. So we did up with our screws now. Okay. Let's give it a power. So 
so you're gonna connect the two screws that hold the control unit in place onto its holder so that it doesn't move. Okay, that's that. Second one. You don't want to use a cordless drill. I normally use a screwdriver, which is much better for me. I don't want to use the cordless drill. Some of people like to use cordless. Nowadays that we are advanced in technology and, and things like that. But I prefer using my uh, screwdriver and hands. That's it. The old school ways. So yeah, um, the next thing we connect is our earth. We got the earth. We connect it onto the gas shaft over there and it uh, connects to the unit so that the static when it sparks there it doesn't spark all over the place only it sparks directly straight to the furnace yeah that's too bad that that earth is full so that it doesn't choke everywhere it just goes directly where it's supposed to go so yeah this is our red and yellow which is the micro switch which is the main on off switch for the gas key and then we connect the solenoid which releases the gas to the flame burners and then to the sparks where it can be ignited into flames and then we've got our red and black which is our battery term we connect these to the battery terminals straight to the battery box which will feed our control box with electricity of 3 volts from the batteries yes this thing uses batteries not electricity though it uses batteries so that 3 volt uh, is converted into um, static static pulse and then it hit it heat the gas and then the gas creates sparks and then the sparks ignite the gas and then turn it into flames so that it heats up uh, the radiator the radiator heats up the water so yeah this is our heat sensor right here I've made a video uh, concerning that you can check on the channel yeah um, and you can ask any question concerning that if you maybe have a problem with uh, one of your sensors in your gas geyser. Uh, we also uh, call it a uh, flame failure device because it also cuts off the flame when it's uh, heating too much or overheating or maybe exceeding uh, a set temperature. So yeah, we're gonna hold this together, this wire, all the wire together so that uh, they don't go all over the place. Hold those together with a cable tie. Hold it in one place, one position. So this can look nice and neat, man. You don't want your work to look all messed up in there. Hold. Sense of wire. So this is Don, everybody. Donovan, a manager. Yeah. And he's buddy, dog. So yeah, cut that to make it nice and short, so it looks neat. Yeah. So there we go. Our control box has been installed. And let's just test it by opening the micro switch, which is the main on off switch for the thing. So let's see. Super. Now it's box. So what we'll do, we gotta test it, put it onto the wall, and then see if it's gonna make the water hot. Okay. So yeah, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna hang it up onto the test bench, and then when it uh, and connect the gas and water and the water outlet so that uh, we see that it works perfectly just for testing purposes so yes everybody uh, we've hanged the unit onto the wall to test it uh, to make sure everything is in place as it should so our unit is a bit old though so yeah that's why we've been we are giving it a little bit of a service so that it uh, works as new so yeah let's uh, open up the 
cold water tap to see if it uh, will ignite and give us some hot water. So yeah, let me open up that water tap. Three, two, one, open. Oh baby, it's working perfectly. You can see the flame. You can see the blue flame on the on those flame rows on those burners. See so yeah, sweet mate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, and come leave your comment if you get a question on the comment section below. Thank you. See you in the next video.